Welcome back to it, guys. The Now Morning Show, where you just got a sliver of the excitement that is Acuna, the new local superhero movie, set to be released on March 8th. And to tell us more about it, we are joined by the director, Ansel Harris, and the lead actress, Miss Janelle Karamath. Good morning, and welcome morning. to the Now Morning, morning Show. Good morning. Thanks for having us. It had to happen because it's not often that we see these sorts of sci fi films yeah. coming out of Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. And so thank you for bringing it to life. <laughs> <laughs> Even though, as Aztec and ancient as it sounds, mm -hmm. it was inspired by something else, right? Yes, 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 yes. So yes. give us a little bit of the scenario. Right. So um, I'm a footballer fan, mm -hmm. right? And um, I've been following a lot of footballers over the years. And um, I was watching Spanish League and I was watching a game. And it have a guy named Marcos Acuna. You know? mm -mm. And I was like, wait, boy, this thing real interested. And then I look at his gameplay and I look how he move on the on of the ball um, in terms of aggression and right. speed and stuff like that. So um, last year we did a, a web series named Visa Claw and I introduced the character Cunha in it. Mm -hmm. And I use some of the attributes from that player and kind of fuse it with her personality nice. and kind of, you know, make, make, make that come together as one. Nobody saw that coming. Nah. Not quite the link there, <laughs> but only in your imagination yeah. can that happen. We're glad it came to life. <laughs> and that means that when he approached you saying that he wants to not just create this character, but have now this series or, or feature on this character, what was the thought that came to you as a first time actress? <laughs> of course. <laughs> it was of course? Of course. No yeah. question. No, no questions asked because I'm a person, I like these kind of things. Mm -hmm. Clearly, <laughs> you can see I am a Kunya, right? So, um, yeah, when he came to meet it and, you know, I was excited. I've been friends with Ansel for a very long time. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, I, I'm accustomed to his work. You know, I like um, you said, his work. Yes, <laughs> yes, he, he's very skillful. Absolutely, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. Now, you're saying, you're saying I'm a Kenya because, interestingly enough, these piercings, the hair color, all of that is just you on a regular day. Yeah. Me on a regular day. <laughs> mm -hmm. So then, finding yourself identifying with the character, she is, as he was describing, powerful, she has stealth. How do you identify with Akunia? How much of her is you? Like my twin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, Ansel, he knows me as well. You understand? So he knows how I am, mm -hmm. you know? I am um, radical, outrageous, adventurous, warrior-like, mm. you know? So he incorporated all these, these things and came up with the perf perfect character. <laughs> <laughs> now, now that we have a sense of who she is yeah. and we understand what this story is born out of, mm -hmm. we are going to be seeing this on March 8th, and that is as a feature film, yes? Yeah, that's a, as a short film. A short. Yeah. Yeah, so what we're doing first is um, we're doing a short and then what we decide and after if to do it as a series and stuff like that. So um, this is just to really establish her as a character and some of her backstory mm -hmm. and moving forward, what mm -hmm. will happen to her moving forward. So it leaves the, the door open for a lot oh, yeah. of stuff to happen. March 8th is also International Women's Day. Yes. Was that deliberate as well? Well, no, it wasn't deliberate. Okay. But then when you think about it, it's like, wow, that's actually cool because, you know, <laughs> Women's Day empowerment and you know she represents that um not to spoil the stuff the, the, the film <laughs> spoiler alert <laughs> <laughs> not to spoil the film but basically she have to go through a lot of trials right and then after that trial she have to basically prove herself mm -hmm. so there's a lot of things happening um within within that film too so Oof. yeah it's a lot of um, <laughs> more men stop happening. Mm. Like, I have questions that one time, like, no one will give things away. So I'll be like, okay, where can we find the film? How can we see it? So right. So, how can we find so it'll it? be on gtnetworktv.com. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so when you go there, you'll see it under films and you'll, and you'll see it there as well, too. And hopefully, very soon, it'll be also premiered on TTT as well. Too. All right. So, fingers crossed. Yeah. I know we have a cast of other uh, actors and mm -hmm. actresses as well. Mm -hmm. uh, some familiar names, Nicholas Alibukas, uh, one of them. Um, mm -hmm. in terms of these other characters and these other persons, mm -hmm. how much screen time will we be getting of them? Since it's really about a Yeah, you will, gonna... you'll, you will get a small screen time of them because mm -hmm. it's more focused on her. Right. But every every character that I um, that uh, will appear in the movie have a significant now. They, right. they contribute something towards 
her progress and towards her moving forward. And possibly towards their own stories yes. if we are seeing series. Yes, e e exactly, ah. exactly. <laughs> I mean, know it. I mean, know it. Now, this one is uh, PG-13. You know? mm -hmm. Why is that? We have... um, well, because it have it don't have like obscene language and stuff because I do do those things. Right. But it have some sort of fighting and things like that. So okay. we kind of, you know. Fair. Yeah. yeah Just yeah, making yeah. certain. Yeah. yeah and yeah. in terms of the work, well, we know you've written and directed yes. the entire piece. Yeah. Tell us about the team and making this happen. Because sci-fi often involves a lot of special effects, a yes. lot of uh, animation, yes. a lot of behind the scenes yes. that Trinidad is not necessarily known for. Yes, yes, How did yes. that happen? So um, I have a, a good VFX artist partner of mine from friends um, from long time named Cyrus. Mm -hmm. So he does a lot of the VFX work. Mm -hmm. And then I reach out to a couple of people from um, a guy from Germany and someone else who did some 3D modeling. Nice. And also, um, I was the, had the pleasure of working with Joshua J. Lewis. He basically did the camera work for mm -hmm. it. Um, well, I did the editing. I had a, a cousin of mine. He did the drone shots. Wow. And then, well, we get the location, the scouting, the locations and stuff like that. So it was a small team. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you know, everybody... You know, pull through. Yeah, um, um, some of the guys come and contributed some of the music and stuff from outside of Trinidad as well too. Right. So, so we're looking at across the diaspora, uh, Germany, yes. as far as Germany. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and <other Caribbean>, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Now, Janelle, I mean, all of these persons may not have interacted with you on set or mm. in the moment, but I'm, I'm sure they did at some point reach to you. Yeah. That must have made for a dynamic experience. What would you describe this experience as? Well. Honestly, um, <laughs> it's nothing like um, different to what I'm accustomed to. Okay. Because I'm really accustomed to, you know, people like Ansel, you know, with okay. jolly vibes and, you know. <laughs> jolly and, vibes. Yeah. Like it. You know, and um, on set, it, it, it is be like, <laughs> it is be like a comic strip. Really? <laughs> We always laughing. We always having fun. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. very comfortable. Um, the persons that I've met so far, mm -hmm. they also like Ansel. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and, Just one good and each of them <laughs> do fit their character. Right. Yeah. You understand? All of them. All of us. All of you. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> so the team is a great team. Nice. You know? yeah. great. And so we're looking forward to even more coming out of this. Yes, for sure. And Definitely. hopefully in the near future. Yeah, Definitely. for sure. Right now, I'm, right now I'm working on three projects at, at the same time. Uh, writing and post-production, pre-production. So, yeah. So. Ooh, well, let me not keep you any longer. <laughs> you have a full plate. And as you were saying, we can see this one coming up on our screens pretty soon as March 8th is the release date for Acuna, the new local superhero movie that you do not want to miss. Ansel Harris, the director, joins us today along with Acuna herself on set. So thank you very much for joining us. Thanks thank for you for putting Thanks us for on the map in a different way. Because sci-fi, like I said, yeah. a budding industry, but not one that TNT is known for. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. thank you for tipping and your hat in that direction. Yeah. We <laughs> truly appreciate it. You guys stick Thanks around. So. The Now Morning Show is taking a break. I might learn some moves. Who knows? But when we come back, we have birthdays. We'll be back. <laughs> Best late entry of the century. Braga. Yo, I'm not going no small fat. Let me extend my apologies. Only big fat with big flag going overhead like canopy. Rag in my back pocket with a white vest, sneakers and wallabies. Knife tips and tight pants. I never really rate none of these. I come from plastic. Best late entry.